Norma with all my crafts and today I have another haul video for you. These items here are from Dollar General. I also have a Tuesday morning and a small Hobby Lobby. I did go back and they had a few um, things. Some of them are repeats, but I still wanted to share them with you. So I'm going to start with this Dollar General. Um, Dollar General obviously has Easter stuff out, so I found a few things. I did find some LOL items, and this is some bubbles. So it's just the bubbles for the kids to blow, and it's just LOL on here, and it was $1 at Dollar General. So I picked up these three for my granddaughters. And I also picked up this bucket, very cute. This was unfortunately the only one they had. Um, if I find another one, I'm gonna pick up another one. I'm gonna try a different Dollar General, see if I can find it. Uh, let's see how much, I think this was $3.50 for this LOL bucket, really, really cute. So I found that. I found this pom-pom, it was on clearance. And I think I paid 50 cents. Unfortunately, it was the only one that I could find. I wish I could have found more because this will make a perfect pom-pom uh, for a crocheted hat. So that's why I bought that. And then I just brought these uh, bubblegum crayons just to stick in the kids' Easter baskets. So I always make their Easter baskets for them. And I also... Um, decorate them um, like this one I won't decorate because obviously it's got lol but if it was a plain bucket or basket I decorate it with tool and make it really nice and pretty and I do have a video of an Easter basket that I made with tool that I will link in the description in case you wanted to check that video out I know Easter's coming and everybody's thinking about that um, I also bought these dessert um, hunt eggs look how cute they are they're just different desserts as you can see these are the different desserts it's got cupcake this chocolate all these different desserts are in here and it, there's 12 of them and it comes with smarties but these are super cute it's gonna go in the kids Easter basket but they can always play with these after Easter you know my grandkids have a little kitchen and you know this will make some nice little foods for them to play with after Christmas so I got that and then I also got these flowers here, and I got pink, and you get three of them. And these are clip-on flowers. So um, I'm planning on making another Easter basket with some tulle. Again, I will link that video in the description because I've made some in the past. But this year, um, I'm going to make some more, and I'm going to use this um, to clip on the basket. So what you do is kind of clip it on. Kind of like that, I don't, can't see, but you'll use this since it's got a clip. Very, very cute. So I got pink and I got purple. So this is my haul from Dollar General. Now my daughter also purchased a lot of items from Dollar General and she's got a whole bunch of stuff. Her haul for Dollar General was much, much bigger. And her YouTube channel is called Mom25. And I will link... Um, her channel in the description box in case you guys are interested to see what she purchased. She did get clothes and shoes and just just different things, a whole bunch of different stuff. And she does a lot of haul videos from Dollar Tree, a lot of online shopping from, you know, uh, kids stores like Children's Place and H&M and stuff like that. So she does a lot of haul videos, you know, like that. So in case you guys are interested in her channel, it's called Mom25. So check her out. So let me put this away and I'll be back with the haul from Tuesday morning. So here I have my haul from Tuesday morning. These are the items that I purchased at Tuesday morning. First of all, I'm going to start off with this. And this is a die set. Um, this is a eight-piece die set, and it was $4.99. And they're just different circles, kind of scallopy circles, and um, just different sizes. So I thought that was a really good price for $4.99 for this die set. So I picked that up. Then I found some stickers, and this is... Um, Handmade with love time to unwind and this is all just kind of like knitting and crocheting related stickers And of course, that's what I do. So I really really love that and then on this side it has glam and glitz Forever friends and just different stickers. I thought this was really cute as well So I picked that pack up and then I just picked up these words and I'm sorry This one was on Clarence. So it was I think 20% off of the dollar ninety nine I should have actually picked up another one. I did see one more, but oh well. This one here was a dollar nineteen, and it just has you know different phrases: hope, laugh, trust, peace. 
blessing. So I really liked this one. So I picked that up. Then I found this vinyl. Now I don't, um, I think a lot of people use this with the, um, I don't remember what that machine is called. I don't have it. I'm going to use this for my die cuts, um, for, um, my big shots. So I'm going to, this has an adhesive back and this pack has different colors. So you can cut out, it is vinyl, so you can cut, cut out whatever shape and then it's got a sticky back onto it. So I'm not really sure I'm going to play with this, but these are the different colors that it comes with. It's a pack that has different colors as you can see. So I'm going to play with it and see what I can do with it. I really haven't um, used any type of vinyl, but I'm sure you can use it in die cutting. I don't see why you can't. So I'm going to give it a try. So I got that. And then I found this yarn here. Now, this yarn for me was a little bit pricey, but I really like the color and I like the sparkle on it. This was $6.99, which I think is a little bit pricey, but I love the colors. Look at the colors. And it's a sparkly yarn. I don't know if you can see there. As you can see, it's very it's sparkly. So I thought, well, I'll just get one. I'm sure I can make a, a dress for the American Girl doll with this and try that out. So I just picked up one because I really love the colors. So I got that. And then I found all of these sticker books. And oh my God, this was, I just fell in love with them. They were $6.99 for each sticker book, but you get a lot of stickers in these books here. So this one here, let me kind of do a little flip through. So I'm sure you can use these for planners or for just different things. I'm going to use them, you know, for my bookmarks, for my little uh, comp composition notebooks. I like doing the little ones from the Dollar Tree. And these will be perfect stickers, you know, for the cover. But look at this. Oh, my gosh. There's just so many. Look at these. I love that. And, of course, this will probably be for your planner or for something like that. Letters. Look at these stickers right here. And this is more for the planner. My daughter does do... Um, have a planner and she does this so I might give her some of these stickers right here these are just dots I'm not sure I'm sure she can probably use that for something and look at these so there's just a whole bunch of stickers in here just different things that you can use so I'm gonna use some and I'm gonna share some with her and we can both use it so I got that and then I got this one right here and I think this one has a thousand three hundred eighty four this one here had two thousand and seven but look at these stickers let me take this off here and I love this I love these right here very very cute but let me see if I can do a little flip through so these are more for planners obviously just different things here for planners really cute stickers I love these right here look at that so it has a bunch of different things that you can use these for to do. And of course, um, just, you know, you can use this for really anything. So I got that one and then I got this one right here and it has some butterflies, swans, and some bows right there. And it's very, very cute. I really love the gold, love the gold stickers, but look at this. Oh, I love that. These will be pretty on a bookmark or something or a tag or anything like that. So these are the other strippers that I got. And like I said, I'm gonna share these with my daughter. So she'll have some and I'll have some, but I think this was um, a good price. You get a lot of stickers, lots and lots of stickers. And this one has 1,163 stickers. So this is my haul from Tuesday morning. Let me bring out the items that I got from Hobby Lobby. Some are repeats, but I still wanted to share with you, so I'll be right back. I have some items that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. Again, some of these are repeats, and I also wanted to share with you a small haul that I got from Ally Express and just share something that I'm making um, with the items that are received. So again, Hobby Lobby had this. They had one left, and you have to really look because this was in the back, and Obviously, you can't see the sticker because it was hidden in the shelf all the way pushed in the back. And it was $19.99, and I got it for $4.99, $5. So if you see one of these, most likely it's on clearance. Um, so I would suggest looking in the back of the shelf because that's where I found this. They had other jewelry type of um, stuff 
in front of it and I saw it back there, pulled it out and sure enough, it was on clearance. So I picked up another one because I could definitely use these for my craft show that I do in the summer. So for $5, that's a great price. So I picked that up. Then they also had these pins for $2.49. It's just a whole bunch of, uh, you know, pins. I can use this when I'm making my hair bows and stuff like that. So I picked that up. They also had this again, so I picked up another one. And these again are crowns, and there are a bunch of charms in here. So it's $2.49. And there's 60 pieces in this one right here. So 60 pieces. So again, I'm using these in different ways, and I picked that up. Actually, I think I'm going to use this along with, let me see, this right here. This was on sale 50% off, and these are the earrings um these are the ones that close all the way in the back and i'm somebody had made a suggestion um when i did my other haul video from hobby lobby to make some stitch um crochet or stitch markers and you know i had thought about that before in the past and i just never did and then she suggested i'm like hey yeah that's right i should do that so i brought these uh earring uh things here so that I can make some stitch markers. So I'll probably make some with the crowns and just some of the other charms that I've been buying and make stitch markers. So when I do my crochet projects, I can definitely use these stitch markers. So I got that. Then these are some um, like angel wings, I guess. You can use this, you know, when adding some beads and then it gives it that angel wing right there. If you add these to it. So I picked up two of them. And then I picked up these buttons right here. This was 49 cents. So it has just different color buttons since I'm always um, crocheting the dresses for the dolls and these come in different colors. For 50 cents, I picked that up. Then I picked up some more of these and these are just the figure eight um, connectors. So I don't know, I'll probably use this in some kind of project. Really haven't decided, but 74 cents, I picked up three packs of those. Then I did find this. I love this crown here. It was $1.99 and it's nice and blingy. So I'm not sure what I'll use that for, but I'll figure it out. I just really like the crown and how blingy it is. So I picked that up. Now I wanted to share with you some Ally Express items that I received. And I don't remember what the prices are, um, but I picked up these. These are like bottle caps. And this was a pack of 25. They have different packs. And this was a, a variety of colors. So this was a multicolor one here that I picked up in this pack. So I got pink, purple, and pink. Uh, pink, purple, orange, and there's a red in here. So, And it's like a bottle cap. Now these don't have a hole in it. So I used that little um, bottle cap hole puncher. And I punched a hole in it. And I'll show you what I did. This is one of them right here, okay? So this is the same like this one. And I punched a hole in it with that little bottle cap puncher, uh, which you can get at Hobby Lobby, and I got it on clearance. I, you know, I was lucky enough to find it on clearance. It was a whole little kit that I showed in one of my hauls. So I punched a little thing and put my little jump ring in there, and I cut out the circle images I told you before. I just cut them out, print them out, and then the epoxy, little stickers are right here. I got this from Ally Express also. This came with a hundred of them, okay? And I think it was like three something. I don't remember the exact price, but that's what this part is right here. So what I did is I printed out the image, okay? And I glued the image and I used this glue here. You can use anything, but I use glossy accents. And I put some glossy accents on, then glue the image, and then you put the epoxy circle on top. And this one already has a hole in it, so I don't have to worry about that. And um, I'm going to make all these necklaces. I'm going to show you a few that I've, I've already made. So I have all of these, and all i got to do is put the epoxy sticker on, and my jump ring and then add my necklace onto it. So this is another bottle cap one. That's Jasmine right there. So as you can see, and I'm gonna sell these at the craft show. This is Minnie Mouse. And here's another LOL. I think the LOL will be very popular at the craft show. There's another one. Okay, and I'm gonna show you some other necklaces that I made.
and it really doesn't take much to make these necklaces, okay? Now, if you recall, I got these images from Ally Express. So all I did was glue one of these bales on to make it a necklace on the back. And again, I used this glossy accent. So all I did was take this piece, add some glue, and you got to let it sit overnight because this glue, you know, is pretty strong, but you have to let it sit overnight. So I glued it on here and turned this little acrylic piece into a necklace and I got this chain of course I think I showed you before from Ally Express they're very inexpensive very cheap but look how cute that is for a little girl so I made that necklace I made sorry I'm getting a little tangled here I made this one right here look at that one this one looks nice with the black cord Again, I just glued the back piece, the bail piece on here, and it turns it into a nice little necklace, that one. And then I also purchased these uh, chains from Ally Express as well. These are some little silver ones. This one has a little spiral twist to it. And same thing, just glue the little bail on the back and turn it into a nice little necklace. Look how cute that is. Okay, and then another one right here so I have more images this one's a different kind of chain but same thing very very cute and this is what the bales look like and I got these from Ally Express as well and I forgot it was like a hundred of them and it was fairly inexpensive so I got that so I just wanted to share with you all of those items and there was one item too that I have purchased from Michaels Sorry, I'm just going to bring it in real quick. I bought this yarn from Michaels. And it's the ice cream. It's a big ball of yarn. And this is regular, I think, $10. I used my 50% off from Joanne. So I got this big ball of yarn for $5. And I'm going to make a dress. I'm going to give you a sneak peek because I know you guys are still waiting for that wedding dress. And I'm working on it. It's just I, when I work on something, I like it to be perfect. So I've been making just different versions of it, different lengths of it, and I'm gonna share with you the short version of it. Obviously the wedding dress will be long, but this version is going to be short. And again, with this pattern, you can make it in different sizes. So let me show you what, this is a small preview of one of the sizes, okay? And again, this is also going to be a wedding dress, but look at that. Look at this dress. Now I have a flower here that I got from Hobby Lobby in one of my hauls. Okay, and look at this. This will be perfect for Easter, for communion, but this is gonna be the pattern for the wedding dress. It's gonna look similar to this, except it's going to be longer and it will have a train on it as well. And you can convert, you know, this pattern, you can make it in different lengths and it looks different, but yet it's the same pattern. And believe me, this one right here works up so easy and so fast. So it's, you know, crocheted here on the top and then over here these are Solomon's knots or love knots I think they call it and believe me this is very easy to do so if you're a beginner and you think oh that looks complicated it's not complicated at all and I'm going to show you how to do it look I got tool in the inside to make the dress nice and puffy and the tool is in the inside instead of the outside and the wedding dress is going to be very similar to this so i'm working on these and i'm trying to um you know make them in different lengths so that you can see the one pattern you can do many different things with it so stay tuned i'm going to be recording that video very soon and um, I hope you guys enjoy this pattern, but it will be coming out. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that like button. And make sure you hit that notification button so that you can get notified of my videos. So I just wanted to give you a sneak peek of this dress. So that's it for today. Have a great day and see you soon. Take care. Bye.